Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I am going to be showing you how to engrave a few little metal tags. These are stainless steel tags and that you could really engrave for anything, say a dog collar, <laughs> but I am using them as Christmas ornament tags. So say you've been on a vacation, like mom and I just went on a huge European cruise. I have a whole playlist, I'll leave it down below and you but picked up a few ornaments, but they don't say the name of where you were or the date. Now that may not matter to some people, but the more trips you go on, the harder it is to remember where you got that fish ornament or where the salsa girl came from or what year was that trip again? So mom and I like to add tags to all of our ornaments that don't already come with tags. And typically we just either write it on the bottom with Sharpie, <laughs> make something out of cardstock, or we use paper of some kind. Sometimes we'll even go a little fancier with like a chipboard or a heavy duty cardstock. But I wanted to make these tags out of metal. So you can see here, it's just a little round metal disc. And I'm going to show you how I engraved each of them how I wrote it out in Cricut Design Space, switched it to engraving, and then used my Maker 3. You can use either a Maker or a Maker 3 for this project. It has to be a Cricut machine that can use the adaptive um, system, which is the tools with the wheelie wheel at the top. Yes, that is the technical term. So you can use that adaptive system, you can engrave, and you can make tags. So we're going to put the date on one side and the name of the place. This little girl came from La Corona, Spain. No, I'm not saying that right, but that's my, my best, my absolute best. I was awful in Spanish throughout my entire life. Finally switched to French and it's much better, but still. Either way, we're going to go ahead. I have five ornaments here. One, two, three, Four or five, they're all moms. Somehow mine all have tags and hers don't, but I typically go for ornaments. And while like this horse is an ornament, it wasn't a horse from this place. We went to a, a Spanish horse show in Cartagena, Spain, and um, we couldn't find any ornaments. So when we got home, mom went ahead and ordered this horse. I have one coming. We ordered two and only one came. So I did cut two of these regardless. These are all mom's ornaments. She likes to get things like this little Santa that has nothing to do with where she got it from or the dancing girl that is not an ornament at all, but a figurine things for her tree that represent where we are. And if she can't find an ornament, she'll buy a keychain or a figurine or something else. That's perfectly fine. And her tree is just full of memories. It's a very fun, fun tree. So, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pop right over to Cricut Design Space. I will show you how to prep the files and then I will show you how to cut the little tags. I think they turned out so cute and so much better than paper or cardstock, oh my gosh. Let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, we're going to pick our font. Now I use Nubis Nouveau for this. It's pretty much what I use to engrave everything because it's just a standard block font. Once you have picked your font, you can go ahead and you're going to come up and click engrave and you're going to do this for everything that you're picking. You're going to pick a maker three or a maker. That's the only things that you can use for your engraving um, projects. Okay. And now's the tricky part. It's going to put everything on your cutting mat according to the best locations, but we need to match up where these things are on the physical cutting mat with where they are on our digital Cricut Design Space cutting mat. So you can see I'm playing Battleship here and I'm putting everything two inches apart, three inches down. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to center these on two inches down, across, two inches across, three inches down. And I will show you the actual cutting mat so this makes a little more sense. But you wanna just center these so that they will cut centered on your little tags, okay? So just work your way across the mat here. Make sure they are centered every two inches. 
if you do not have the Vivas Nouveau font downloaded and you're looking for another one, you can pick one from Cricut Access. Or a lot of people have things like Helvetica Bold already downloaded, and that's another good one for a just solid, straight um, engraving font. All right, so once everything's done, we're going to hit Next or Continue. It's going to connect our Maker. I'm using the Maker 3. And then we'll go to Browse All Materials and go search for Stainless Steel. You'll see that anything that's not engravable is grayed out. So Stainless Steel is engravable. We're going to click more and then we'll go to our actual cutting mat. All right, y'all. So now we've got everything in Cricut Design Space set up and we are going to go ahead and start cutting our little, well, not cutting, engraving our little pieces. So they came in a whole set of different sizes and depending on your piece, you can pick from the largest size to the smallest size. Some of these itty bitty tiny pieces are probably going to be too small to engrave unless you're doing like a single letter or something. But, you know, the larger pieces are. So I'm using the second largest and the third largest sizes. And I'm going to be putting the year. So 2022. There we go. On one side. And the place, so this one says Cartagena, Spain. This one says Tenerife, Spain. They're much easier to read in person. Getting the glare on camera is a little hard. So I've, I've experimented a few different ways with these. And I have found that placing them on your cutting mat so that the middle of your engravable piece, your stainless steel tag here is right in the middle. This one is like battleship, two over, three down, four over, three down. And making sure you're right at the middle of those crosshairs is your best kind of bet to line everything up. So then on the design space you saw, we also lined our words up on those crosshairs. Now I did try the first time to, uh, hold them down with tape. Usually when engraving that works best, but in this instance that left me with kind of incomplete letters. I don't know if you can see it really well, but like the N for Spain only has one line instead of two on the left side of the N. So I found that just using a really sticky brand new strong grip mat and pushing those pieces all the way down works best. And of course, having a sharp engraving blade. Of course, I don't do that much engraving. I've probably done three or four projects with this. Other than that, I've not done anything special to my engraving blade. So we're going to go ahead and hit go. You want to make sure as it's going in that your star wheels are between all of the pieces. If it goes over one of the little discs, it will put a little pause on the machine. It may not work properly. You can always push them all the way to the side, but for this, they can go right in between. I do have my machine set. You saw to stainless and to more. I find that gives me my best results with these discs, but you can always play around with the settings if that's not working for you. All right, let's see what we get.
So now they are all engraved. I love it. And at this point, it is completely up to you. They can be done if you just want whatever you put on the front. Obviously, I put the locations for all of these cute little ornaments that mom and I picked up on our European cruise. Um, but I'm actually going to flip these over and put the year on the back because I want to. So I'm just going to pick them up. Cartagena, Spain. That is our little silver horse. Because mom and I went to a Spanish horse show in Cartagena. And this is just a fun, easy way to add the year and the date and the place to ornaments that maybe didn't come with those things or that weren't ornaments. This little dancing lady was never an ornament. She's a figurine. But Mom just wants to hang her on her tree, so I'm gonna make a little medallion for her. And you could easily make something like this out of heavy cardstock or chipboard. Um, you could make, you know, like a vinyl tag instead of Sharpie, which she originally used. But the engraved tags are just a little nicer little classier, a little more permanent. So that was the goal. And as you can see, like this mat is so sticky. I also have flipped the mat around. Another trick if you've used the mat before, but like maybe just once or twice is instead of running it through the machine the normal way where I've already used some sticky here is I turned it around. This sticky hasn't been used, so it's still perfectly new. That won't work forever, but it works for a while. After all is said and done, you can always reapply some sticky or get new mats, but you know, might as well use both sides. All right, I gotta go ahead and readjust the uh, years in Cricut Design Space, and then we will cut them.
All right. 2022. Do, 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 do. So now I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to take some jump rings and my jewelry pliers and I'm going to add the rings to my ornaments and then I will come back to show you the finished results. All right, they turned out so cute. So I will give you a close up of each of the five ornaments just so you can see how it turned out. Everything was perfect except for two of the ornament charms. I used a slightly smaller disc than the first three and I didn't get them quite centered. So the 2022 on this one, and I think Santa is a little askew, but close enough for government work as they say as my mom says. I'm not sure other people say that. I grew up with it, so now I say it. But, you know, it was it was close enough that I didn't want to spend another disc that I will be able to use on another project to redo it. So I really like how this turned out. I do wish the engraving would be a little more, a uh, little deeper or a little more filled in. But as the pieces oxidize over time, they will get deeper and they will get easier to read. They're actually very easy to read in person. They're not very easy to read on camera or like from across the room. It's definitely something like, you know, when you're looking at it on the tree, I can read what this says. But if I was to hold this out to you, you couldn't. But honestly, if I was able to hold something out in Sharpie to you this far away, you couldn't read it. So that one it is or the other. Half one dozen or the other. Articulation, enunciation. We're gonna go ahead and call this a day. I love, love, love how these turn out. I have to go bring them to my mom. This is the kind of thing that I really wish I could just give her as a Christmas gift. Cause like I did all this work, I bought the discs. Technically this should be a present, but I had to get the ornaments from her. We went on the trip together. She knows what I'm doing should just box them up and give them to her as a present anyways. Maybe I will. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and go. The close-ups are headed your way. I hope you like this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom, not my mom, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.